Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Sam's Automotive, bringing you another exciting episode of how to fix your car. All right, guys, I'm going to show you something real quick, the right way of timing a 2.4 Hyundai engine, okay? And that goes for any Mitsubishi that has this uh, oil pump here. Uh, very important things, guys, when you change this, make sure that you change all these items, the pulleys, the belt, the, the little timing belt that goes inside here, water pump, seal, crankshaft seal, okay? Make sure you also do that, all right? Tensioner, very important. Try to get the whole kit, okay? Just like I did it. That's new, it's new, it's new, it's new, that's new. And all the gasket. Rear main seal, it's on. Okay, for the front. All right. So I'm gonna show you real quick the right way of timing this engine. Okay, so as you can see here, it's very easy to do it, but then you'll have a, a very good view of how you can do this engine. All right, so this is the spots uh, I'm going to show you um, the uh, the step that you got to do first of doing anything else in this engine. If this engine had a broken timing belt, do not waste your time on this engine because this is interference engines. What does that mean? Very simple. If the timing belt breaks, more likely the vent valves and those valves are gonna cause this problem. Okay? I'll show you real quick. Right there. That's gonna be your problem. Okay? Why? Because those valves are so close to this piston that if that belt timing belt breaks. It hits this piston okay same thing with that one okay so this is no good all right uh, I have the old cylinder head right there it has four broken uh, valves okay so this is this is what it is okay 91,000 miles in this engine that goes for Mitsubishi Hyundai 2.4s uh, that's the car that this engine is going to that's a 2003 Sonata, all right? So, all right, first thing, very important, guys. Change the timing belt in these cars. That's really important, okay? All right, so let's say this timing belt didn't break on you. Here is what you need to know, okay? First of all, everything, okay? You're going to time this belt, okay? Time it, okay? And how you time this, this belt, very important, okay? Here's your mark, okay? I'm a little bit off, like I can't come back here, okay? But I make those lines just to, as a reference. Let me see if I can find a 22 here. I probably will, if I can find it. That's a 24. There you go. All right. So what you're gonna you want to get a 24, okay? And you and you're gonna tension this guy. Time it. There you go. That's a hundred percent right there. All right. So you got to time this this thing. All right. So what you want to do is, uh, uh, let me take this off. I'll show you another way here. Very important steps, okay? Grab your oil dipstick. Take plug number one. See here? Tells me that's in TDC. Tap that top dead center, okay? Right there, okay? All right, so... 
let's say you just get in this, this belt out, all right? First thing, clockwise, okay? You got it. go, turn this thing 390, all right? Make sure your top depth center uh, piston is up, all right? Then you want to align this guy here with that notch. All right, there you go. Dot notch with that one, okay? Second of all, you wanna time the oil pump with that, okay? That one, it has to point out right there too, all right? There is an internal uh, also right there, okay? Those are your points. Now, in order to, uh, you see there is a little timing belt that goes in here. In order to get this one off, you would have to pull the tensioner out, the pulley out, this guy here. Your crankshaft position sensor has to come out. The metal piece has to come out. All right. I can show you in the other engine what it looks like when you take all the stuff out. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay, that's the old one. Take that off. Take, take this guy off. And there he is. Okay. So, the only thing you got to make sure, again, is that dot right there points out to here. Okay. This is a self-tensioner. You want to loose that. This belt is going to come out. When you tensioner this, just put something down here, like a screwdriver. I'll show you real quick. So, you will lose this guy. You would try to put something here, like a piece of cloth or something, with this rapid. And you want to push this way. Leverage this, okay? Then tight the bolt, okay? Then you're going to have that much tension. All right, once you do that, okay? Uh, another thing, uh, once you do that, all right, so that's all it takes just for that belt, all right? That's it. That's all it takes, all right? Now, once you do that, it comes a second thing, all right? Let's put in the main timing belt, okay? One thing that is really important is if you lose... Uh, uh, the timing in this is really important, okay? This is what they call the oil pump gravity, okay? And what did they mean with gravity? I can show you here real quick. See this? See that? Okay. So this, this is the, um, the oil pump. Very important. That goes for Mitsubishi too. How do you time that? What if you just have it there? What if we went like that by accident? You just move it. And you thought that just put in this one. Uh, put in this guy here. All right, there you go. All right, so it's timing. No, that's not how you do it. All right. There is two ways to do it. If you don't time this oil pump, your car is going to shake very crazy like a random fire or something. Okay, so it's really important to time this. And how do you do that? Very easy. You can do it like this. You see this pump when I move it? All right. Let's see, try it again. See that? Let's see if I can get it right. So this is three times. Three times. There we go. Let me see. Do it again. There you go. You see how it? You see how it goes? Okay. You see that? See that? Right there. That's one way. But the professional way, do it. Very simple. You will find your exhaust here. You will find there is a bracket that goes from here to the top. Okay. On the side. Okay. You see the square piece right there? There is a 14. Okay. You want to lose that. Okay. Once you lose this button here, you want to stick something in here. Make sure it's clean. Okay. And go in here. See that? 
That's beautiful. Goes right on it, okay? If you're not in timing here, what you're going to find is uh, you're going to find it's going to go like right here. Pock, pock, pock. You're going to hear that. You're going to feel that. Something's going to be in your way. So right here, that is the right way to do it, okay? Once you verify that the screwdriver or anything that you put in there, it goes all the way in there. You are here 100%, okay? So there's your piston up. There's one mark, perfectly fine, perfect timing. Your pump also, very important if you're doing the pump. For this pump, the pump has got to be installed first. Then you put everything else, okay? Three bolts, one, two, three, and there's two here that holds this bracket, all right? And um, that should be it, guys. Um, I'm here, right here, 100% on my timing, all right? If you're doing this inside, all right, things that you want to take out is alternator, bracket, covers, belts, number one, piston, plug, all right? And that should be it right there. You will have all this guy right in cover. There is a motor, motor mount that goes here. You can remove that too, so you can have an extra space. All right, guys? Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. You know I'll do all this for you guys. Hope you out. All right? Peace out. God bless you.